In this map suite MVC sample edition walkthrough, we're going to show you how you can easily convert features to well-known text and well-known text to features to be displayed on the map. So for example here, we've got our basic sample app and we've got a text box here that's containing some well-known text describing a polygon. If you're not familiar with well-known text, it's a standard format that is used to define a lot of uh, geometries, um, you know, for polygons, points, lines, etc. So if I go ahead and click the WKT to feature button, you'll see that now the text is blanked out and we now have a feature displayed on the map representing the polygon information that was here in this text box. And vice versa, uh, once I did that, this button changed to now go from a feature to well-known text. So if I click that, it'll read the well-known text out, remove that feature, and po um, populate this text box once again. So this can be important if you want to store, you know, some shape information in, say, your own database or text file. And uh, it's an easy way to go back and forth between the map for some of these shapes, you know, that you may store in other places besides shape files um, and places like that. So let's take a look at the source code so you can see how you can implement this within your own application. Let's start at the view source here. And uh, down here where we're adding the map to the page, we're setting our current extent, adding the world map kit overlay. And then down here we're creating our in-memory feature layer. This is what's going to actually hold our shape or our polygon that uh, was defined as uh, well-known text. And then we're going to tell it what style we want. Um, the, since it's an area style polygon, we're going to go ahead and give it a fill of a certain color, like that green and a, an outline color of deep ocean blue and apply that for all 20 zoom levels so it's displayed out no matter whether you zoom in or zoom out. And we're going to add that in memory feature layer to the map and render the map out accordingly. So uh, by default there is no feature in the in memory feature layer so nothing's going to be rendered and you're just going to see the uh, you know the base blank base map of the world map kit here. Um, but when you click the button you'll notice that now a feature does show up so let's take a look at the code of what happens on that button click. So here's our uh, button, um, button convert, and when the on click event of that, we're calling this button convert click up here, which is a JavaScript function. And we're going to go ahead and get the text of what the button label says, and we're going to get the well known text out of the actual text block. Um, then we're going to do an AJAX callback and go back to the server, and we're going to call uh, convert. WKT and pass in the, the WKT that was in the uh, text box and also the label of the uh, of the button that was clicked so we know what operation to do on the server. Once that's done um, we're going to do a call back here to redraw the layer so the feature either shows up or disappears and update the uh, the well-known text text box with the result from the server. And once we also get done with that, we update the label on the convert button accordingly. Um, so let's go look at the server since that's where actually the conversion is being done. And that's in this convert to WKT method. Uh, so that's what's getting called in our AJAX callback. So the first thing we're doing is just getting a reference to our in memory feature layer that we set up when we loaded the map. We're getting our arguments passed into this uh, function that we passed on the client side, which includes the text of our button that was uh, clicked and also the WKT that was in the text box. If the button of the um, if the, the text of the button said WKT the feature, that means we need to go ahead and create a new feature based on the WKT that was in there. And there's an overload on the feature object that takes just you know WKT. So that's a real easy way to create that feature. And we just add that feature to the uh, to the in memory feature layer using the internal features collection and the add method and return uh, an empty string to be populated back in our well-known text, text box on the client side. If the opposite happens and we're going from a feature to well-known text, um, we just get a reference to our feature um, by doing this code right here on our in-memory feature layer and we call the well-known text method. So you see this on any of our shapes within Map Suite or features so it's easy to always get the well-known text and it's also a great debugging tool if you just want to see the actual coordinates of a given feature to get an idea of you know what that feature looks like in its raw coordinates and then we clear that feature out because you know we've converted it back to well-known text accordingly and we always redraw the uh, um, the overlay so any changes that we've made have been updated so with that you can see it's a uh, um, can easily go back from just a textual representation of that polygon to actually rendering it on the map and seeing it 
and go back and forth. So that's real helpful if you want to store that feature information in a database or a text file or you know however your application is architected. I hope this sample app walkthrough has been helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us or you can post your discuss or your questions directly on our discussion forum at thankju.com/forums. Thank you for watching.